I was working in the lab late one night when my eyes beheld an eerie sight. For my monster from his slab began to rise, and suddenly, to my surprise, he did the mash. He did the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. He did the mash. It caught on in a flash. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. To my love, Natalia. So I've decided the winner of tonight's contest is going to win a watch. Uh, so they can all get here on time. Like every comedian, I just got out of a recent relationship. <laughs> My girlfriend, or ex-girlfriend, had epilepsy. So let me tell you, our relationship was hella shaky. <laughs> she was her own vibrator. I see these smart cars on the road, they're pretty cool. You know, go 50 miles to charge. But there's also a special feature they included. If you don't have access to an outlet, it also can be run on the tiers of laid off auto workers. <laughs> Shout out to my newbie workers if you're in the crowd. I want to welcome you all to National Candy Bar Day. I hope your kids, kids are out there getting your teeth ready for, uh, for the dentist. Um, I don't know, I'm bipolar. And, and bipolar is kind of like buying a candy bar. Because sometimes, you know the saying, right? Sometimes you feel like a nut, and sometimes you just want to kill yourself. Welcome uh, to the make-a-wish portion of the show. <laughs> Should've wished for a ramp. <laughs> now you know what? Fuck make-a-wish. I said I wanted to stand up. <laughs> so I've been a little kinky bastard. I guess I can't put down Paris Hilton. My first girlfriend, the first time I had sex, she sneezed. And I could feel a little squeeze. It's like, cool, I'll do that again. <laughs> you guys know about the sneeze squeeze? <laughs> and next week, and her parents were out of town, I showed up with a six pack and a pepper grinder. <laughs> I'm gonna make a stupid pun costume like no one else uh, does. I'm gonna be Whoopi Goldberg cushion. <laughs> and then I realized I could not look less like Whoopi Goldberg. I'm a Howard Stern cushion. To be clear, I am a zombie jester. <laughs> It is not easy being a zombie. I've lost a lot of friends over the years because I am a zombie. My one last friend, a buddy from college, called me up yesterday. He complained that we hadn't seen each other in a long time. So I had him over for dinner. He was delicious. Hey, yesterday I was driving with my portable GPS and it kept losing its signal. And I realized that happened every time I put it in my lap. And I thought, dang, my thighs can stop a satellite signal. They used to just block good judgment. It's tough to date as a bag man. But they got a new bag dating website. website. It's a lot funnier when I say it right. It's a bag dating website. I saw this cute gal we met at Starbucks. <laughs> but her bag was 20 years older than the bag she posted on the internet site. I know I might sound or look like a Jersey cow, but I'm actually from New York. <laughs> and you might wonder how I ended up in this ridiculous costume. Well, my girl said to me, hey, I'm gonna go pick out some costumes. What can I get for you? I said, give me something risque, something leather. I wanted to be 
really creative tonight with my costume, but also, you know, I needed something that, you know, the audience, you guys, would just be blown away by. <laughs> I just hope like hell I do not get pulled over after the show looking like this by the police. Yeah, that really sucked to get a ticket. I mean, especially under the false illusion that I only looked like I was hauling ass. <laughs> I guess some of you are saying, man, it takes some balls for him to get up there very soon. Yeah. Dude down here saying, man, I didn't even think you had any balls. <laughs> you trying to look like my tutu? <laughs> hey, you know, one way from my wand, I can change your hot link into a Vienna sausage. But I hate when my friends have babies and they act like they're part of this exclusive world that I couldn't possibly understand. It's like, oh, Candy, you have no idea what I go through. My clothes are stained with vomit. I'm up all night. My nipples are sore. I'm like, honey, those are the three things we still have in common. <laughs> you heard of uh, Southern hospitality, you know. Come on in, Gail. Take a load off. We'll get you some iced tea. And then they go in the kitchen and talk shit about you. <laughs> you know that Gail Jones? Here she kisses boys and she calls them back. I was working in the lab late one night when my eyes beheld an eerie sight. For my monster from his slab began to rise, and suddenly, to my surprise, he did the mash. He did the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. He did the mash. He caught on in a flash. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. Wow. For my love notari in the castle east. Wow. To the master bedroom where the vampires feast. Wow. The ghouls all came from there.